Should the Detroit Lions look to draft Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa? Let's talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode. Thank you for liking this video, for commenting and subscribing. I appreciate it with my whole heart. Well, it's draft season. And with that being said, there's roughly, I would say, 70,000 mock drafts out there. And so with that being said, I did want to bring to our attention the possibility of the Lions looking to draft linebacker from Notre Dame, Jeremiah owusu koromoa Now, quite frankly, with there being so many different mock drafts, so many people are just speculating. It's all speculation. It really is. What's very interesting is Jeremiah owusu koromoa is speculated to be drafted anywhere from mid-first round to early second round. He has a rather large range. I'm seeing a lot of people putting him in the mid, if not late first round. I've also seen him later in the second round. So with that being said, if the Lions were to not draft a defensive player, specifically Micah Parsons in the first round, let's say they go offensive. Maybe they get a guy like Penny Sewell. He drops to seven. We pick him up. Who would the Lions look to target in the second round? Now, knowing Brad Holmes' track record, he has found great success in drafting wide receivers later in the draft, third round and later specifically. That opens up the second round. And if we did not draft a defensive player in the first, I think if Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa is available in the second round, he would be a phenomenal fit for the Detroit Lions. So let's look at him a little bit. Now, Owusu Koromoa is actually a little bit leaner. And really, linebackers today, we are seeing a very different type of mold. The modern linebacker is a little bit more lean, leaner than they were in the past. And so with that being said, Owusu Koromoa is six foot one. He's 220 pounds, linebacker out of Notre Dame. And at his pro day, he actually opted out of running the 40 yard dash there was some sort of tightness uh, in one of his legs so he did not run the 40 but i'll say this about the young man he looked like a freaking action figure i mean like he looked like the equivalent of when captain america comes out of that capsule his body looked like it was shaped by a greek god maybe he himself is a Greek god. Just gonna throw it out there. So let's take a second look at his 2020 stats. He had a total of 55 tackles, 37 of those being solos. He defended against three passes. He had one interception and he also forced three fumbles. All in all, solid 2020 season. Now let's look a little bit further. Look at his strengths and his weaknesses. Looking at a couple of his strengths, he's incredibly fast, very, very quick. He's also very physical. When he hits, he hits hard. My guy comes in like a drill bit on home improvement. That's right, I went there. Tim Allen. Lastly, one of his greatest strengths is how well he is able to change direction while maintaining speed. The fact that he is as fluid as he is, that he can change that direction, keep the speed up, is vital to him, to his position, and it's something that I do love about Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. Now, on the flip side, you look at a couple of his weaknesses, and the first one right out of the gate is his size. It is his leanness as a linebacker. It's something that if he could tack on a little bit more weight, I think that would really help him out. Right now, he is a little bit lean. Another big weakness of his is the fact that he likes to make the big hit. He likes to be the guy to come in, like I said, like a drill bit, like a missile, make that huge hit. And unfortunately, he doesn't like to wrap up the offensive player, and that is a problem that can lead to some pretty major mistakes out on the field. Lastly, all the fundamentals aren't really there yet, and I think that's a, a major part of why I look at him as a solid round two selection. Yes, I think he's a great selection. Even in round one, there's some teams that could really benefit from him, but for the Lions, a round two selection. All in all, looking at him, he actually reminds me a bit of Jared Davis. R.I.P. From his energy to his fast-paced play to him coming in like a friggin' rocket and the struggle that he has to read and diagnose 
offensive plays. All of it really does remind me of Jared Davis, a guy who had a ton of potential but was not developed properly here in Detroit. So could a guy like Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa come here to Detroit and be developed under Aaron Glenn? Absolutely, because we actually have competency in the leadership, in the coaching this year going into the future. I look at a guy like Jared Davis who was not developed well and I feel bad. However, when I look at a guy like Owusu Koromoa, I think him coming into Detroit now, he would benefit well, very, very well under this coaching staff. Unless the Lions were to trade back to potentially 19 with Washington, I don't think that he is, he's not a seventh spot pick. He's just not. There's too much other talent available at the seventh spot. He's not a seventh spot choice. However, if the Lions do trade back, he would be a great, and I mean that, a great first round choice later, probably around the 19th spot. And if not, if he were to make it to the second round, which I doubt he will, but at the 41 spot, a solid selection for the Detroit Lions. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. How do you guys feel about Jeremiah Mouthful Owosu Koromoa? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I look forward to reading it. And as always, I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.